All right, well, welcome back to Give It a Shot. And uh, it's snowing outside, and we were gonna sit outside, but it's way too cold and wet. So we decided to at least yeah. uh, show uh, through the window <laughs> what the weather's like out that window. So, mm -hmm. but today we're doing uh, stout because today would be a good day to drink a stout, I think. Yeah. So stouts are uh, the company's strongest porter. And so I would assume that this is uh, Deschutes Black Butte Porter, which is turned into their stout, this one here. This is Obsidian Stout by Deschutes. <clears throat> oh, I mean, this is uh, bottled conditioned for quality. Live yeast added to the bottle allows the beer to age graceful and stay fresh longer. Keep bottles upright and always and and away from light and heat. Nice. So, yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah. here's what the bottle looks like, so that you make sure that you can find it. All right. Worth sharing. And I got some infos. And I did hear uh, a picture Any of the ball caps. Here's the ball cap. Picking. Obsidian Stout by Duchutes. I won't give it as my nickname that I usually give it. I'll be <laughs> professional. Put my big boy pants on today. Okay. Uh, notes of espresso and dark chocolate with roast uh, with a roasty finish. Ooh. Sounds sounds nice. Mm -hmm. uh, the malts in it is pale crystal carpels or car carapels carapels uh, Munich. Black barley, roasted barley, and wheat. So they used a lot of malts in this. Yeah, tons. Yeah, but come to find out, the uh, Carpels malts is more to uh, add more foam to it and keep the head retention. It's not so much for flavor or, or color, which mm. is kind of interesting. Uh, Munich malts, of course, Germany style lager type malts. Uh, pale crystal, uh, what was crystal again? Uh, the hops that have in it is Nugget Bravo Delta Northern Brewer. So you got all those. Sounds like we're uh, yeah. we're talking military talk there. Yep. Uh, the alcohol by volume, six point four. Yeah. Does it say something different on the bottle? Nope, it does not. It says the same thing. Six point four. Abby used on here says fifty five. On, on the, the bottle, bottle, it says fifty five. Yep. So calories is two hundred twenty calories. So. Jeez. Yeah. So on the box, it says that uh, uh, Deschutes Brewery, so uh, family and employee owned since 1988 at Deschutes Brewery, every beer we craft serves a moment when people can get together. So stop in for a tour. So consider this your open invitation to our Ben Brewery. Walk the production facility, relax in our tasting room and see firsthand how we craft beer worth sharing. And they, yeah, so they're in Bend, Oregon, and they make a lot of different beers. One of my favorites is um, is the Black Butte Porter, and so let's let's do this Obsidian Stout. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so for the Crystal Malts, it just says one of the traditional British color malts next to brown, amber, chocolate, and black malts. During the malt uh, malting process, it is uh, uh, stepped and germinated like classic fully modified something or another words words are difficult <laughs> uh, moisture content almost 50 percent so i don't know it, it's it's just a malt doesn't really specify too much just a british malt i guess mm. i don't know i don't know okay so let's go ahead and pour it do the polar. Nice. Man, that's black. Yeah. It's like coffee. Like oil. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Are we supposed to drink this? Or <laughs> we're using it in it's our car. a nice tan. It is. is dark. Yep. I put it up to the light, and that light is very bright in my eyeballs, mm -hmm. and I can't see through it. That is dark. Yeah. That is incredibly dark. Nice yeah. tan head. Mm hmm That looks good. Yeah. And the carpal's most supposed to help retain the head. So we'll see how long that kind of lingers there for. So if you want to I'll pour yours too. Mm. 
Nice. Dun, dun, dun. I'm surprised that it's only 55 um, IBU because Ooh. stouts sometimes are, um, you know, more potent. Yeah. But I think the alcohol by volume is a lot higher on a, on this stout than it is their black beet porter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. We got James some nice. Oh, we got different glasses. They're close. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why was that porter so different? Yeah. But yeah, very, very nice dark color to it. That's beautiful. I'm looking at my reflection right now. It looks pretty so good. Beautiful. All right, so what do we get for a smell? Oh, uh, nice and roasty. Oh, very roasty. And malty. Mm -hmm. Since they used, what, six different malts inside this Man. thing? Man, yeah. They... <coughs> smells really good. Yeah, I get kind of a coffee. Yeah, kind, kind of, of a coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of espresso. <clears throat> I get. Yeah, uh, what did they say that? Maybe a little, uh, a little bread-like, a little yeasty. Espresso, dark chocolate, silky. It's kind of like mm -hmm. their, their trifecta, they said. That's what you're going to taste, but. Yeah. <coughs> Man, that smells really delicious. It still smells like um, like a porter, but stouts usually have a little bit more stronger aroma. So yeah. I think this has definitely got that. All right. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Give it a shot. Mm. Yeah, I would not say there was 55 IBU in that. Mm -mm. It's very mellow. Mm -hmm. it's just a really nice roasty beer taste. It's yeah, it's so roasty that it's uh kind of gives you that um mm. that coffee uh, yeah like espresso yeah because it does have a little bit of bitter afterwards mm -hmm. a little lingering bitterness to it but that's to be expected from like espresso and coffee and whatnot. yeah so. And the but chocolate they speak of is like a, a very bitter baker's chocolate. Yeah. So, but, they but it has a sweet, um, like leftover after you swallow, like a, what you get from if you just tasted some molasses. It's not in the taste, but it's after the uh, after the sip, kind of comes right. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It's like right after it, then a little bit of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. But it, then then the bitterness kind of over. Yeah. Over over develop. Yeah, develops. multiple multiple things to taste yeah. there. Interesting. Yeah, it, it, this would this is a perfect beer for the type of day that mm -hmm. it is though. Nice and cold outside. You know, though it's a cold beer, it makes my, my my tummy feel warm. Also, for like if we had a barrel aged, oh, like barrel aged and bur bourbon barrels or something like that. I wonder what this would be like if they uh, took this and and aged it in, uh, in some, oh, some some oak yeah. barrels. Oh, oh man, you guys should do that. <laughs> you guys should totally do that. <laughs> Bourbon, uh, they might have already. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, we need to go to Wine and More and because <laughs> they got some. That. Yeah, they got some. Mm -hmm. in there some pretty fancy, expensive beers that have been aged in uh, bourbon barrels. Oh man, I really like that. Really nice. Six system. six point five. Nice. Yeah, it's so it's it's up there. It's oh, not, six point four. Sorry. No, six point four. Yeah. So it's it's definitely up there. It's not uh, a simple beer. Yep. So we got some pretzels. We're gonna try it with a pretzel. So pretzel. Whoa. We need to get new tables. <laughs> new wiggly. Yeah. <laughs> so nerve wracking. All right. <laughs> Watch my hand go in there. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right we got the pretzels <laughs> so we have a, a theory that the pretzel snack that's salty and ready will reset our taste buds from whatever we were eating and drinking before and maybe our after our first sip could reset it so maybe we'll be able to taste more things Oh. <laughs> Just, did somebody say pretzels? <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> you just got a treat. But you don't drink beer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. My mouth area has been reset. Mm. 
<laughs> so I'm ready for this. I feel the resetting. Mm -hmm. Process complete. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> now with the pretzel. I think it made it more bitter. It did. Kind of took away the espresso taste a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ludo, you're killing me, buddy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't get the um, es espresso as much. I get more of the bitter chocolate taste. The molasses kind of went away. Mm. Molasses taste is kind of still there. Mm. Okay. Because that's more overpowering than it is yeah. for the bitterness or the uh, uh, for the uh, the espresso tasting. So that did that did something you know a little bit different. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That's odd. I don't prefer the pretzel. Yeah. I prefer to drink it without the pretzel. The pretzel kind of messed it up. Okay. So. Let's try it with peanuts now. What's the peanuts? We have roasted peanuts. All right. I'm going to leave these up here because we'll probably go back to the peanuts. <laughs> I like the peanuts. Probably. Oh, I'll leave it here. There we go. That works. <laughs> All right. So typically, the peanuts is the one that usually enhances mm -hmm. the bitterness. The pretzel usually tones down the bitterness. You taste more of the malts, not so much of the hops. So that's weird that the pretzel did that. Okay. So I'm kind of curious about what the peanuts will do to it then. Is it going to be the same effect? Maybe. I mean, maybe it's going to yeah. reset even better than the pretzel did. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's right. give this a shot. Right. Yeah, I think it did. It tastes more natural now. Mm -hmm. I get the I get the espresso back again a little bit. That's weird. It's so different now from my, our first taste when we didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because you definitely get more espresso flavor in that. Mm -hmm. The bitterness is more there when you eat the, the peanuts. Yeah. Like, I think it was a little bit more mellow without the peanuts. But at least with the peanuts, you still, it still kept the, the espresso flavor yeah. to where the pretzels didn't. It kind of killed it a little bit. So... If you want to experiment like we did, try the pretzel and the peanut. Maybe there's another snack that, that works too. I don't know yeah. about it. Unless unless you guys like enjoy your cheese with your, mm -hmm. your beers. We have yet to try that. That would be a good pairing is, uh, yeah. I think, with uh, probably some kind of sharp cheese. Yeah. yeah. Buy, like, buy them in those little cubes. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty good. Yeah. Interesting. Look up. So what I like is that um, that a stout is stronger. Uh, sometimes they're more bitter, like if you get an imperial stout. But this one is just just a standard stout. Mm -hmm. um, not trying to be imperial, like giving it lots of bitter. Yeah. But uh, but it does really um, provide uh, what I think stouts and porter should have is sort of a robust, um, roasty. Uh, maybe give you that 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 es espresso some kind of coffee notes and mm -hmm. dark chocolate and this this one does it excuse me this one really does it so <clears throat> really really good mm -hmm. i think i enjoy it more without the snacks though mm -hmm. but that's me i mean I, i'm weird like that i don't like eating food with well, my beer well sometimes the snack isn't helping yeah uh, some beers like ipas um the pretzels and the peanuts really make a difference mm -hmm. so what are you doing yeah, I don't know. Are you looking my, my boot? <laughs> I still got my boot on from my broken foot. And, hey, weirdo. <laughs> now get off. <laughs> he just looks at me all adorable. What was, what was, what was I doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Ludo? I thought I was helping what are you. you doing? Doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What? 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 <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh. <gasps> What? You want a pretzel? <laughs> Is that what you want? You want a pretzel? Don't tell Sandy. 
<laughs> yeah, you wanted to press him. Mm -hmm. He's a very uh, opinionated dog. <laughs> if he doesn't want something, he won't eat it. Nope. You give it to him, you're like, yeah, whatever. Walk away. <laughs> really wanted to press him. <laughs> yeah, he really okay. wanted him. So, <coughs> last but not least, we will down them. Yep, we're gonna slam them. That's what we do, we <laughs> slam stuff. To save a whole bunch of it, maybe it will taste like a just a crap ton of coffee, coffee. or maybe yeah. that that uh, baker's chocolate mm. kind of flavor to it. Any of uh, those aren't the things that they added to it, but that's just how it tastes like. Yeah. Any thoughts about what it's gonna do? I think it's gonna taste sweeter. Yeah. I think the multi stuff is gonna um, overpower um, it. Yep. Yeah. Because I think I think it does. I think after a while, the malts and stuff like that start lingering downward. Uh, and that was interesting what you read that um, that it's uh, bottle conditioned so that there's mm -hmm. there's yeast and stuff in here yeah. in, inside each bottle. So technically, if you hold on to it for a decent period of time, like if they have, if you can uh, if you can seller it, seven twenty seven two thousand nineteen. So, if you were to hold on to one of these until 7, 27, 19, that we just bought it, <laughs> then it would probably be a little bit more than 6.4. Ah, uh, yeah. It might be close to probably 6.6, .6 maybe? Or maybe more. more. Yeah. I don't know. But that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's really cool. All right. Let's All do right. it. Let's down them. Thanks for watching. Yeah, um, more multi, more more chocolate to taste. Yeah, on. yeah, um, more, more sweeter. I don't drink very many espressos, so I don't have very much experience on what espresso tastes like. This to me tastes like baker's chocolate. Yeah. So the espresso they speak of is like not your fancy espresso that's been hit with crap ton of chocolate syrup and. <laughs> and caramel flavors and things like that. They're talking like about what like what I usually drink. They're talking about like the raw shot. Just a little, that little cup, the little yep. espresso shot. Yep. <sighs> That's what we're talking about. Yeah. So yeah, um, I think it tasted a little bit more smooth and uh, mm -hmm. uh, and malty by slamming it. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. It was a neat little, neat little experiment to try that. Where yeah. see what it's like when you when you drink it a whole bunch of it um, over your taste buds at once. Yeah. It kind of does something different. And if there's anybody out there that is a beer scientist, and you know the reason why that is, where if you down a bunch of it at once, then it becomes less bitter. Was I even close to thinking that maybe the malts go down mm -hmm. in the beer, and maybe that's why? <laughs> Leave a comment. <laughs> Tell me if I'm an idiot. <laughs> that should be fun, right? Yeah. Okay. Anyways. That should be good. So, what do you think, Chris? Um, what is your opinion about this beer? I, I love stouts. I kind of, when we first started drinking um, different kinds of beers, uh, I, I really did start liking the darker beers because of that roasted um, flavors that we get from, mm. from darker beers. Not all of them have it, but um, but I, I really like uh, Obsidian Stout. This is, it to me, it's like what dark beer should taste like. A very roasted and uh, kind of kind of a dry finish, um, a, a medium mouthfeel. Uh, I like that espresso and the chocolate. So yeah, you know, and this one is a—it's uh, not crazy high on the alcohol by volume, but I like that it's better than five. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. cool. But no, plus six point four is a decent yeah. number. Yeah, so I give it a thumbs up. Woo! One thumbs up. <laughs> I can see that though because you are—you uh, you like your coffee. Yeah. So uh, along those same lines, yeah. it's something nice, roasty, and a rich flavor. Mm -hmm. That's what you like. Um, for me, I was never big on to dark beers when we first started drinking, mm -hmm. but of course back then I wasn't big into coffee. Yeah. Now, six years later, I love my coffee <laughs> and I'm really liking the dark beers, especially these ones, nice roasty mm -hmm. flavor. I can't drink them too much because it'll end up... You know, another thing that's fair about these is that Obsidian Stout, at least where, where we come from, because maybe it's not hard to get it here in uh, the Northwest, uh, Everett and Seattle, from Bend, Oregon, that it's reasonably priced. Yeah. How much was a six pack? I think it was nine, nine ninety nine. So average. Much. Yeah. Average price. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but um, besides that, it's a, it's a beautiful taste to it. Um, I'm at three. The mouthfeel is more medium. Mm -hmm. It's not too thick, but it's not too light either. Yeah. Uh, nice taste to it. Loved it when we downed it. 
because it just took away the bitterness. Yeah. I think that's why I like Guinness so much. Yeah. Because they're so mellow. Mm -hmm. I love that mellow tasting. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to have to give this beer a thumbs up. I enjoy Ooh. it. I like it. Ooh. I will drink it again. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Deschutes Brewing Company. Obsidian Stout. Yep. I like to say uh, a stout is the brewmaster's strongest porter, so I'm, I'm going to assume that this is Black Butte Porter on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, because I do the Black Butte Porter, which mm -hmm. that's an enjoyable one, too. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. All right. Actually, it wouldn't be bad to do a taste test between the two. Oh, yeah, because that way we could, like, you know, like, like find out the difference. Way, this is way, yeah, this is a lot more mellower, mm -hmm. but I think the, the, uh, the Black Butte Porter is like five point yeah as, as far as strong wise but yeah. Yeah, i think with the their porter I, just, I think you can still detect that like that coffee and, and the and yeah. the chocolate but it's um, um a mellower version so this is their stronger version of that and i would agree that'd be kind of fun to you know have two glasses and just kind of yeah we know which one is which but uh it'd be cool to see if we could detect the differences i like the, pretty cool i like the picture where it shows like the mountain and the obsidian rocks oh yeah from uh coming through there that's very cool so I'm sure what William's talking about there. Obsidian. It's not yeah. like the strongest rock or something. Uh, I think it is. Yeah. Or something like that. Maybe that's why they're using that uh, as, as a name. Their obsidian. Name, obsidian. Yeah. I know it's very very hard. Yeah. I think people use obsidian to can, crack other rocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know it, you can only really get it from like volcanic, very powerful volcanic eruptions or something. Mm -hmm. Something. Something. Some science. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. Science stuff. I know. In a beer review. It's all magical. <laughs> they use magic to create science. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, that'll about wrap it up. So thanks for watching us. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below if you, uh, if you what you think about this one, if you've tried it before. Or if you haven't, hey, give it a shot. It was pretty pretty darn good. We so, liked it. Yeah, we liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. So two thumbs up from, from uh, the mixed in guys here on Give It A Shot. I'm Christopher Lee, and this is William Wallace. All right, and Ludo. Oh, yeah. Ludo, <laughs> can't forget Ludo. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Later.